Most of you out there are probably a lot like me. You have never had the uh, misfortune of Donald Trump liking one of your tweets. And that's likely because most of us have never said anything nice about this man at all because he's never done anything really worth praising. But nonetheless, according to new reports, including personal accounts from a Republican member of Congress, Donald Trump not only likes and shares tweets on Twitter, he also has his staff print them out so that Trump can write a little thank you note and sign them. And then he has his staff mail these printed out tweets to the person who tweeted it originally. One of those people who spoke to Politico happens to be uh, my representative here, Matt Gates, of course, as usual, right? And Gates said that a while back he tweeted out something positive about Donald Trump because that's what Matt Gates near entire Twitter feed is. And then not long after he got a little package. He said it was the proverbial gift basket from Donald Trump. And it contained the tweet signed with a little note of thanks. And Matt Gates now has that signed printed tweet hanging in his congressional office to remind him the reward you get for being an absolutely disgusting and pathetic suck up to Donald Trump. But don't worry folks, if, if you're not one to tweet so much, you can still get your hands on a positive note from Donald Trump. All you gotta do is be interviewed by a newspaper or say something kind about him uh, in a magazine because according to the reports, Donald Trump also goes through all the newspapers every day including the ones he claims to hate, like the New York Times and the Washington Post, aides say that he reads those papers every single day along with several other newspapers. And if he doesn't have time that day, he puts them in a big stack, takes them with him on Air Force One and just sits there just going through newspapers all the time. Because you know, Donald Trump's a big reader apparently. But nonetheless, I don't think he actually reads the paper. What he's looking for are articles about him looking for articles about members of his cabinet to see what they say about him. For example, uh, former EPA administrator, Scott Pruitt received a signed copy of an article that mentioned him in it, Scott Pruitt, uh, where Scott Pruitt praised Donald Trump and <laughs> Donald Trump wrote the message said, Scott, great story. You get it. And then he signed it and sent this article that Scott Pruitt knew he was in and now he has that. But listen, folks, this is not just, wow, the president has some really weird habits. It's the president is such a raging narcissist that he thinks this is a gift. Me praising you is a gift. That's what this is about. Not just the narcissism of, I want to go see what people are saying about me, but the fact that you said something nice, I'm going to sign it. And that's a gift to you. You should be grateful that I took my time to acknowledge your existence, little one. And people like Matt Gates, man, that's all Matt Gates has ever wanted. It's just for somebody to pretend that they love him. I don't think he got it from his parents. Obviously his dad had to bail him out of jail one too many times to really get daddy's love. And now he's looking for it in Donald Trump and he seems to be getting it. So kudos to you, Matt Gates, for filling that void you've had in your life since the day you were born. But you're also sucking up to a raging narcissist who pretty much has a mental disorder when it comes to his narcissism. I mean, that is diagnosable folks. That is something you can go find in the DSM. You can look up the symptoms and you'll quickly realize that every single one of them applies to Donald Trump. Thanks for watching everybody. And don't forget, if you like what you see here, like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. And now you can also become a member of Ring of Fire and get exclusive early access to certain Ring of Fire videos all throughout the week. Just click on the little join button right below the video.